be welcome, one and all, to the Marvin Nikki Force Proto Demos of Millennium Ritual Today Offering Petitions and Uses unto Their Friends. Before we begin the ritual, I want to describe what's happening here for the benefit of anyone who is new to Hellenic Polytheism. First, we will take a moment to listen to the music and calm our minds. Then, I'll light the heart candle with a prayer to Hestia, hearth goddess, who is always first and last. Next, I'll purify water with the blessed flame, so that the water becomes holy and can be used to cleanse the space and myself. Then, I will call upon the seven uses and other gods connected to them, and light incense and offering. Next, I'll alternate praise to the gods with pouring libations of coffee and wine, the, the artist's two best friends. The coffee's more than half chocolate milk, but that's how I drink. <laughs> After my own prayer, I will pause so that those of you watching the video may offer your own prayers. Then I will ask for an oracle using the Homeric Oracle dice. I will conclude the rite with thanks to the gods, play one more piece of music, and extinguish the heart candle. This is going to be a rather long ritual, so video itself will not include the credits to those brilliant artists whose work I am borrowing. For that information, this is going to be on YouTube later, so check the video description on YouTube. I'm going to start the meditation music now. Please take a moment to center yourself and simply breathe.
Hestia. You tend the sacred dwelling of the far shooting Lord Apollon and Holy Pipho, as from your tresses flowing oil ever drips down. Come to this house. Come in gentle spirit with merciful soups and give grace to my song. Let this water be purified by the sacred fire. Goddess of the Red Lace Veil, sing by the fireside. Maiden of the Kindling Box, first spark of light. Hearth tender dwelling within the heart of all things. Hestia, moon cheek goddess, child who breaks the night. Holy daughter of Kronos, Hestia firstborn, perpetual maiden, unwed, furnace dwelling, all consuming. Great faced goddess of the central hearth within Zeus's hallowed hall, ever burning radiance within the bright home of Apollon. You who are at the center of every flame, seen and unseen, to you we start prayers, you at the beginning of all. To Hestia. Melite. Who practices? Mename, who remembers? Aide, who sings? Cleo, who makes famous, author of history. Uterpe, who gives delight, author of lyric poetry. Thalea, who blooms, author of comedy. Melamene, who celebrates with song, author of tragedy. Terpsichore, who delights in dance, choreographer. Arato, who is beloved, author of love poetry. Polymnia, many hymns, author of sacred poetry. Orania of the heavens, who names and counts atoms and stars. Calliope of the beautiful voice, author of epics. Hestia, who owns her home to the muses as they create beauty. Apollon, who leads the muses in creating beauty. Hephaestus, who, inspired by the muses, creates beauty. Aphrodite, whose passion the muse turns to creating beauty. Athena, who seeks the muses' guidance in creating beauty. Zeus, who sired the muses to create beauty. Mnemosyne, who bore the muses, who remembers. I ask for your presence at this rite. Come, muses, into our homes and workshops. Come singing and strewing flowers, a profusion of color. With joy and festivity, inspire those you touch. The precise turn of phrase, the superlative choice, the unexpected. Come, land bearers of spirit, who enlighten artists and makers. Come as spring thus, a thousand voice chorus. Come to us who beseech you, and bring beauty in your train. Twelve Muses Her single feet strike stony paths, a run through city streets. Corpore sano men sana, or so the Romans say. Where fitness is an art itself, she'll practice every day. She learned the need and use of this from Great Aunt Melite. The fabric she is knitting turns and stitch by stitch accretes another row of purple wool. Her 
fingers know the way. She slipped these needles off so. This cloth will never pay. Preserve pattern. Write it down. By Zan Maneme. A rhythm to the weaver's loom. The brassmith's strike. The beats of artisans liver in your best. A fine array. A dancing tune almost seems. And she'll hardly get can say this dedication to the art of Great Aunt Ollie Day. To Malate, Neme, Ollie Day. Shining Athena, Sotaika Sparrow, Friend of Warriors, Fair Daughter of Zeus. In bravery, in fine hand stitchery, in knowledge and in understanding, in crisp, clean thought, in artistry and skill, in these your realms we see your dexterous hand. Glorious Athena, West of Gods, Guardian Bold Hearted Adventures, Guiding Craftsman. Defender of cities, we thank you for pure minds and steady hearts, for just victories and keen-edged swords. Peerless Athena, we praise and honor you. To Athena. Let me begin with the Muses and Apollon and Zeus. Because it is through the Muses and far shooting Apollon that singers and lyre players exist upon the earth. Kings are from Zeus. Blessed is the man whom the Muses love, for sweet speech flows from his mouth. Hail, children of Zeus, to honor my song, and I shall remember you in another song too. To a poem. Aphrodite, glory of Olympus, golden one, incomparable goddess, born of sea foam, born on the ocean's waves until you found fair Cyprus sandy shore. Your beauty, by God or mortal unseen, your power over heart and mind unknown, your touch and felt your voice unheard. All things, all life, all people are incomplete without your presence, Aphrodite, who sees the truth within us, who gives us with what we need. Beloved Aphrodite, fair one, blessed one, who holds us close, whose gentle persuasions overcome our doubts and fears, whose hand in the world we see in one another, we praise you, we honor you, we delight in your gifts. To Aphrodite. Sing, O oh, clear voice muse, of the Christos renowned for skill, who along with gray eyed Athena taught fine crafts ten of this earth. Indeed, before that time, they used to live in mountain caves like wild beasts. Thanks to the Christos, the famous craftsman, they learn crafts and easily for the whole year they lead a carefree existence in their own homes. Have mercy on me, Hephaestos. Grant me virtue and happiness. To Hephaestos. Zeus. Greatest among Olympus mighty, father of many gods and men you are. In the soft, distant rumble of thunder, clouds growing heavy, deep darkening skies, torrents of rain, flashes of bright lightning, in these we see your hand, most honored one. Father Zeus, storm bringer, kind provider, all powerful ruler of the heavens, guardian of children and travelers, 
We thank you for rain on fruit and field, for protection and for victory. O peerless Zeus, we praise and honor you. To Zeus. O lovely haired songstress, goddess who gifts celestial waters to mortals, she who raises her her voice in acclaim and bestows immortal honors on great men. And from Cleo does not forget the past. Sweet voice muse, recall history and heroism. Settle glory on those who call your name, mother of Hyakinos. Bless and inspire those who sing your praise. To Cleo. Euterpe, giver of delight, words of the heart are yours, sonnets and ballads and poems of love. Goddess, we see your hand in the songs of Sappho, we hear you in the interplay of meter and rhyme. By your art, we hold open our souls to the world. Your touch gives voice to the truth within us. Euterpe, goddess, child of Olympus, I honor you. To you, Turpin. Thalia, joyous goddess, ivy wreathed goddess. In your works we find laughter, an excellent fit. In wit there's wisdom, good cheer builds good will, and a merry heart lightens the weight of the world. O goddess of comedy, what in life surpasses the delight we know in your mirth and merriment? Thalia, goddess, child of Olympus, I honor you. To Thalia. Melomene, you sing of our sorrows, of hardship and struggle, of perfect despair and savage fate. So strange it is that tales of melancholy and ordeal should bring us pleasure, and yet it is so. You teach us, Muse, that each step and misstep we take, unknown in thought, directs our luck and our lot. Melpomene, goddess, child of Olympus, I honor you. To Melpomene. Terpsichore, graceful one, in dance you take delight, in swaying form and nimble step, in the heartbeat of the drum, in the practice pace of the rhythmic waltz, in the wild world and joy of the minor, we know you. As the heart speaks, the body moves, as the body moves, the mind transcends all and pauses in awe and reverence. Terpsichore, goddess, child of Olympus, I honor you. To Terpsichore. Roses bloom at your touch. At the sound of your voice, lo, from vanilla and almond. In Aphrodite's train, or among her glorious sisters, you stir the blood as you quicken your imagination. Love Iterato, I play you breast my heart with tenderness. My love's with all your tender art. To Iterato. Polonia, your voice the temple. Hushed beneath the weight of legend, wreathed in laurel, your song rises like incense smoke. Transcendent goddess, who raises those who hear her beyond bounds of mortal flesh, earthly life, I praise your name, your everlasting grace. To 
Şu kombine. Oh, shiny muse who charts the skies. Brilliant as lightning. She who ignites the heavens. The phosphine flash that behind my sleepless lids. Nice when I am wrapped in discovery. Hail Arania of the stars. Who shatters stasis with curiosity. The trumpet of wonder. Hail muse of sudden answers. Insight dazzling as chrysoprase. Sharp and precise. She asks and reveals to Orania. O muse who sings of heroes and their deeds, who night eloquence and kings and poets life, breathing to me words of true metal, forged in the inferno of your divinity. Firstborn whose song shatters the silence, radiant dawn, touch my lips with sweet dew, scorch colossal wings into my soul. Hail, fly of the honey voice, mellow and piercing, golden bells, eldest sister. To fire me. Nemosine, greatest teacher, archivist, librarian, archaeologist, historian, bard, and songstress, you from whom we learn all that we know, you bless us with recollection. The scent of nutmeg and cloves recalls summer bacon. The scent of salt water recalls July at the ocean side. You bless us also with forgetting, but the paint of the past may blunt with time. Keeper of memory, the crazio. To O Olympian Muses nine, I ask for inspiration. O Titan Muses three, I ask for diligence. They say the best of art is one percent inspiration, ninety nine percent perspiration. I need to apply diligence to my inspiration if I wish to make the best of art. I need discipline and focus, and I ask for these as well. I ask also the aid of all the friends of the muses, that I may honor you with my art. Great gods and shining goddesses, I beg the honor of your blessings. I will pause for a few moments now in case any viewers have prayers you want to offer. Zeus of the prophets, Zeus of many oracles, finally one whose words we hear in silent voices or see in the thrill of the bones, whose messages we know by their truth alone, I praise you, a God who is the source of all visions and signs, of all that is foretold by mortal seekers and seers. Nemosina, you are an oracle as well. 
You remember all that has transpired from the first moments of her life, and you know the patterns of the times. How history repeats and how it rhymes. In your chance of the past, you foreshadow the future. I ask you, gods, for an oracle. I ask that you send a message to all that's watching this ritual. Five, four, one. The oracle is from Book Eight of the Odyssey. Ill deeds thrive not. The slow catches the swift. Thank you to all the muses and to all you gods for all you do and for all you give us. Hestia, who is first and last, I praise you. Hestia, who grants many blessings, I praise you. Hestia, who bakes the bread, I praise you. Hestia, who oversees the home, I praise you. Hestia, who warms the hearth flames, I praise you. Hestia, who heats the forest fire, I praise you. Hestia, who is first and last, I praise you and I thank you. To Hestia.